Happening right now, questions still remain about what happened to Tony Anderson. Her car found Friday night in the Missouri River two months after her disappearance. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson live in Parkville with the latest. So, Lisa, what have you learned about this? Well, family members tell us they believe that Tony somehow lost her way here at Platte Landing Park, tried to turn around in this area and slid down this boat ramp to her death, a scenario police have not confirmed. Now, this makeshift memorial marks the area where Tony's car was pulled from the Missouri River on Friday. Family members confirmed that the 20-year-old's body was found inside the car, along with her purse and cell phone. Meanwhile, police have been tight-lipped. They still haven't identified the person found inside the car and have stopped short of calling this a homicide investigation. I can't confirm anything that's been told to uh, the family of Tony Anderson, but I can say at this point we don't have any evidence that suggests foul play. Locating uh, her vehicle was um, a big step, but yet the, the investigation still goes on. It still maybe poses more questions, but it, at least, you know, her vehicle's been located. Now, Tony's father tells us they're making funeral arrangements in Wichita. Meanwhile, toxicology re um, results from the medical examiner should be available within the coming weeks. Again, in the meantime, the family is planning a funeral. In Parkville, for the Now KC, I'm Lisa Benson.